All right, we're on hole number 14 of the Christmas Links Tournament in the rookie opening round. Hole number... F okay. Hole number 14. We're using a rock and a sniper. Let's see what ball I'm using. I'm using a Titan. So we're using a rock, a sniper, and a Titan. Make that on my notes. Using a rock, a sniper, and a titan. The reason we're using the rock, and you can make this decision on your bag, whichever club you have that's the most accurate and has the most distance, that's the club you're using. So if, if your rock is not higher, if your quarterback's higher developed than that portion of your rock, or whatever club you have that hits the farthest, the most accurate, that's the one you're gonna use. So in this case, my rock doesn't have as much topspin, but I don't need it here. I'm looking for that extra distance from the tee. And this is another one of those holes you can use pretty much anything but no matter what you use you're not going to get much farther on the drive than you can get with the lowest club in your bag because it's a real layup shot but you want to be real accurate Let's see if our opponent hits to the right or if they hit forward I haven't seen anybody have any success hitting forward so if you're hitting out into this area that ain't good so we'll see if our opponent, and everybody I've seen do it, brought the wrong, I think it, maybe I had one opponent that brought the right, he brought a big dog, but everybody else has brought a sniper, and that is definitely not the shot to take if you have a sniper in your bag. I mean, a sniper's an awesome club, but it doesn't have that distance. This is a big dog or cataclysm all day. Okay, so we brought a rock. We're going to do just a little te teeny bit of backspin because we want the ball to come to a stop. We want, and we don't want it to just keep rolling. We're going to be about two rings out. Three, four adjustment. And we're going to put a little bit of curl to bring it back into the fairway. Isn't it perfect? Getting our bounce going over the sand, rolling up towards the top. Now we left a little bit on the table there, but not a lot. So the deal is, is it really doesn't matter what driver you bring to this. You can get up there. I only, you know, I didn't put any topspin on it. I didn't try and do anything strange. That's why if you bring a bigger, one of your big clubs, you're not having to, you're not having to ask it to do a lot but they're less accurate. So if you're not having to, if you're not asking it to do a lot, bring a more accurate club. Our opponent actually got closer than pretty much anybody I've seen that went on that side. Okay, so we brought our sniper because it's got Good ball guide and top spin. We're right at the hole, so we're four or five. So there's a four or five adjustment. We hit great to the right. One ring. That maximum club, and that's what it looks like. One ring. If you line those shots up and you made good wind adjustments, you gave yourself an awesome shot. But if you don't hit perfect, that shot is uh, diminished. If you're using 
side spin and curl and all kinds of stuff on a shot and you hit it great, in my opinion, it has just as good a shot of going in because those shots are usually when you're using that much stuff, they're just a, you know, a shot in the dark. But, but on these holes where you can actually run it up to the hole and you can really get a good look at it, it really boils down to perfect. If you don't hit perfect, even if you hit perfect, you might not make it. But if you don't hit perfect, you didn't have a shot. And this par three right here is definitely hole in oneable because you can run it up to the hole. You don't have to do a lot of a lot of work. All right, that was hole number. I was just making a correction on my notes. That was hole number 14 of the Christmas Links tournament in the opening round of the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.